guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today we're going to be baking a red velvet cake I don't know if I've ever done this before but just a quick tip when you're baking it's so much better to pre-measure everything in bowls um, and then start mixing everything you're just going to be less stressed and less all over the place and I find it more peaceful when I have everything measured you know before we jump into the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Sanam Hanan so thank you so much for watching my video and showing so much love if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment by the way guys Throughout this video, mind my nails are already starting to peel off. Um, I bought some like gel nail polish and stuff. So let me know if you guys want me to vlog that. It's the first time I'll be doing it myself. Alright, let's get straight into it then. The recipe that I follow, which I will link in the info box as always, guys, um, says 170 degrees Celsius, but I go a bit lower than that with my fan oven. Right, so I finally went for food shop and I got a bowl um, as I went to Tesco. Um, and it, it's um, very satisfying to have a brand new bowl. I never thought I'd be happy with one some of you mentioned that you didn't like my flimsy whisk so i'm gonna use the sturdy one today to be honest the flimsy one was getting to me as well but we've got we got a good one here so we're first gonna take um our dry ingredients flour baking soda and salt here i'm gonna put it into this big bowl i've got some cocoa powder here we're gonna put that in whisk this together And we're going to set this aside. Now we're going to get our trusty old handheld mixer. We are going to grab our butter. This is at room temperature, by the way. And we're going to grab our sugar. And we're going to whisk this for on medium speed for one minute. bit of a fail there gosh I need to do the hoover now that was a bit of a fail we're gonna add some vegetable oil vegetable oil gosh couldn't say that we're gonna add our egg yolks from four eggs our vanilla extract and I have a bit of vinegar here it's a teaspoon <laughs> Just make sure to scrape down her sides. I've got so much sugar on the sides. And again, uh, it says for two minutes on high. Keeping this on a low setting, I've actually made my own buttermilk because honestly, I couldn't find anything. Going to Tesco was the most overwhelming thing. Like, I just don't even want to go anymore. Um, I, to be honest, a quick tip if you have an Asda, I find that shopping at Asda is so much less um, stressful, to be honest. But um, I looked online and you can, if you use normal milk and two tablespoons of, uh, I've used a cup of milk and two tablespoons of lemon, it just makes your own buttermilk, basically. I'm actually so proud of myself. Um, so we're going to uh, slowly add in our flour mixture and the buttermilk into our, into our mixture as it's mixing. I literally put the whole tube in to get it as red as I want it to be because um, I know sometimes it's hard to get it like really red so I'm gonna use four egg whites yes I now know the egg white word not the white stuff from eggs and we're gonna whisk this till we get white peaks 
Okay, once you have these kind of like little white peaks, we can now put the um, oh, the rest of our mixture in. I'm just going to fold these egg whites in. I was a bit worried because I thought like the mixture is a bit too thick but as I'm folding this into the egg whites it seems to be getting a little bit runnier. My arm hurts already. Okay that looks a bit better and it's super red like a brownish red and I think that's what you're supposed to have and the consistency is so much better as well so I'm going to prepare the cake tins now okay so I've buttered and floured my three pans these are 20 centimeters I think they're nine inch pans I'm going to put these to the side I know how much the bowl weighs so we're going to measure the mixture and divide it like roughly into three parts Okay, I don't know. It's just a really rough measure, guys. Okay, so now you want to get these band things I got from Amazon. You just wet them with cold water and we're going to wrap these around our pans. And this is just going to um, keep our edges moist and not burnt. After tying it around the cake. Alright, so now these can go in the oven. Just make sure they're sitting straight. Oh my gosh that was actually a whole process and we still need to make the bar cream so that's gonna be in the oven for 30 to 32 minutes so i'm gonna set a timer and we'll see like pay for me guys i just want this cake to turn out well anyways i'm gonna clean up now okay now we're gonna make our cream cheese frosting I thought this was done we're not there yet but we're almost there so we're gonna put our bolt but we're gonna first put our butter in um this is a melted room temperature butter it's actually really hot today so it's very melted and then i've got a lot of cream cheese at room temperature i'm gonna put around a tablespoon of Vanilla essence. No, it's vanilla extract, sorry. I don't know what the difference is. I like to like scrape down the edges. Everything mixed in there. Now we're slowly gonna add some icing sugar. This is gonna get a bit messy. Just do it a little at a time. You don't want to add too much. If it gets too thick, then you can add a milk in. I think I'm happy with it now. It's a bit, I don't know if it's right, but I've never made cream cheese frosting. I'm going to put this in the fridge a bit and we'll see. Alright, our cakes are now ready. I'm gonna let these cool and let the cream cheese crusting cool and then we can start decorating everything. What would be nice to see at this angle right here. Um, so we've got our cakes ready. I'm gonna, uh, they're all cooled down and everything. I'm just gonna try and level them. Just so that. It's straight. I'm telling you the cake batter already tastes so nice so I think that's like level I might keep this piece for decoration I'm just gonna do a nice layer of this let's try not to make a mess I'm 
just going to flip this over and do it like this. I don't know if it's going to come out good. I think the butter frosting is a bit too runny. Okay, I've just added some more icing sugar to this. A nice layer of that on top here. I'm not even gonna put this one on top. Oh my god, this is a huge cake. I don't know if I should have done this. This is huge. Yeah, I definitely did not do the. I definitely did not do the icing properly. Should have been thicker. I don't know what I did wrong, to be honest. And to be honest, this is like the cake cooled down. I'm not a professional, guys. I've always said this. Meh, meh, meh. I'm a dip. I'm a bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I look so sweaty. Do you know how hot it's been today? I think the cake's gonna taste really nice, but I think like the presentation is zero like zero um i'm a bit disappointed but i'm gonna let it cool for a bit i'll be back in like 30 minutes or so i think what i need to invest in is a cake level cutter and something to cut around the edges i think but this is what it looks like i've crumbled up some leftover of the crust and i think i'm just gonna like This looks awful. The more I clean, the more it gets messy. Just for perspective, it's the size of my head. This is a little close up for you guys. It is, it's huge, okay? It's massive. The cake looks good though, like the cake batter. But we gotta taste it. We just gotta taste it. I'm so disappointed, guys. Why does it taste so good though? Why can't you just be pretty as well? You're beautiful in the inside. But you're ugly on the outside. Oh my god. I don't even care if it's ugly at this point. I'm going to save a little bit to just eat with Netflix. Final verdict, I give the taste of this whole thing a 10 out of 10. It tastes bomb. Like, the cake is moist. It's just the presentation is crap. I tried. This is my little melty cake over there i'm now gonna head off guys i didn't expect this cake to take me like all afternoon to do definitely one of the hardest cakes i've done so far i'm gonna try and make a mauritian fish curry um this weekend so give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see that i usually i rarely do like savory foods kind of videos but i hope you enjoyed this one i hope you guys are staying safe at home honestly your messages that you've been sending to me that this these videos have been taking your mind off things and it just helps you to chill and um, makes you want to bake a bit at home it just really melts my heart guys but at least these cooking videos are spreading a little bit of positivity to you guys during these hard times um make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one bye just to give myself a little bit of credit i cut this piece for my mum and it looks a little bit better i just know that the cake is not meant to be looking like that i just know but the top bit looks kind of cool you know but it's just dribbling everywhere that's good it looks so ugly look at that it looks nice no it don't i'm so hard on myself sometimes